and at fortified.com. You've heard about the benefits of omega-3 fish oils. Study after study on the effect of omega-3s on everything from heart health to emotional well-being. Get the most out of your omega-3s with Fortify's Super Omega-3 Max, the most potent omega-3 supplement in the industry. Fortify's Super Omega-3 Max features one of the highest omega-3 fish oils available, purified and concentrated in a state-of-the-art facility in Norway, allowing for more EPA and DHA combined in the same size capsule. That means you get 50% more potency in every dose without increasing the dosage. Super Omega-3 Max is perfect for people striving to keep their hearts healthy and bodies operating at peak performance. Order Omega-3 Max today at Fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com. Or call 866-503-9746. That's 866-503-9746. 866-503-9746. And at fortify.com. Hi, this is Dr. Michael Lang, board-certified optometric physician and certified nutritional specialist, and the founder of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. I've hosted the very popular Ask the Doctor program since 1993. I educate you on the latest advancements and natural approaches to eye disease and total body wellness. I'm Dr. Michael Lang, helping keep America fit and healthy. The Lang Eye Institute in the Villages and the Fortify Nutrition Center on McMillan Booth Road in Clearwater. Online at Fortify.com. And listen to Ask the Doctor Saturday morning at 9 on AM 930, The Answer. Ask the Doctor with Michael Lang begins in 10 seconds. When it comes to your health, are you seeing the check engine light come on more than normal? It's time to get under the hood. It's time for Ask the Doctor with Dr. Michael Lang. Sponsored by Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. Dr. Lang is a board-certified optometric physician and certified nutrition specialist, helping people see and feel better through proper nutrition for 25 years. The doctor is in. Call now with your questions at 877-969-8600. That's 877-969-8600. Here's your host, Dr. Michael Lang. All righty. Good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute, and Fortify Vitamins here each and every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions you may have regarding your vision and eye care. So take advantage of this hour, pick up the phones, don't be shy, give us a call. If you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? I'm a board-certified optometric physician, I'm a certified nutrition specialist, and I uh, founded Lang Eye Care and Associates back, back March of 1993. Time flies when you're having fun. And uh, I founded Fortify Vitamins about 25 years ago as well. You can learn, learn a lot more about what we have to offer at fortify.com. And of course, my personal website, drmichaellang.com. And for those of you that are new to the program, I have been hosting Ask the Doctor for 31 years now. One of the longest running doctor hosted talk shows in the country. And so it's good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what part of the continent and what part of the world you're watching or listening, or viewing. So we're live video streaming all over the world. We're on just about every podcast channel out there and a multitude of radio stations throughout the great country. Uh, Once again, the phone lines are open. This is a live call-in show. So no matter how simple or complicated your questions are, I will try to answer it to the best of my ability. It is 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. Remember, all the supplements that we talk about on this program, you can see the research and the science at fortify.com. I'm giving you, right off the bat, 
a discount coupon. So write this down. It's for our organic blue green superfood. Remember, this is all certified organic, FODMAP free, gluten free, an amazing superfood, all fully transparent. We tell you exactly what's in it. And so use superfood 25, superfood 25, and you get 25% off. Put that in the uh, little section at uh, promo code at the end when you're checking out. So superfood 25. 25% off the organic blue-green superfood. Also, today, I have a very welcome guest in this studio. It's kind of an exciting day. We're going to talk about some new generation technology when it comes to lens technology. All right? A lot of you out there that are watching and listening have a dreaded condition called presbyopia. So presbyopia is when you can't see up close anymore. You lose that ability to see up close. The human crystalline lens loses its elasticity and the ciliary muscles can't make it conform uh, or accommodate to see up close. So presbyopia is a normal process of maturing, okay? It happens to all of us, usually starts around 40. Uh, However, um, how do we treat this? You can get reading glasses, you can get bifocals, you can get progressive lenses, you can wear contacts, you can have surgery. Well, there's some new technology out there now called NAL or N-A-L. And we happen to have the leading authority, the leading expert in the world, the inventor of this lens, and it's called the iFocal Omni N-A-L, NAL. And we're gonna, I'm going to introduce you to him in just a second. Uh, but just think about this, folks. A lot of you have been wearing progressive lenses forever. And you might have this peripheral swim, okay? You always know you have to point your nose at what you're looking at. And some of you love progressive lenses, and some of you never loved them. And, you know, every time you try it, you have to give it back, and the optical has to refund you, and you go into a bifocal. Well, now, with this new generation, now technology, uh, that's not the case anymore. I tried... Uh, Michael Wallach, who I'm going to introduce in just a second. I tried his, not even my prescription, and uh, last night, and it was amazing. So I can't wait to get my prescription made in this technology. So anyway, uh, before we go to the phones, I'm going to introduce Michael Wallach. He's the founder and president of Quest Vision Care Labs. He's the president of QLDS, which is a cloud-based digital design system. And now he's my good buddy. Anyway, uh, Michael Wallach, thanks for being a guest on uh, Ask the Doctor. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. Thanks for the invite and uh, hope we do a sort of a um, good cause. <laughs> Absolutely. And now you've been in the optical business for some time. I mean, you were the CEO and president of a company that was on NASDAQ, and you've been in the business for a long time, haven't you? Uh, yeah, about um, 23 about 54, 55 years. 55 years. Time yeah. f- time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> all right. And so that's another, this is the show to keep us young. You know, we talk about anti-aging on this show all the time. So uh, I'm going to hook Michael up with some of the supplements uh, sometime this week. And uh, we'll have him get on a guest again. And we'll have before and after pictures, you know. He's only looking like 55 now, but he's going to be 35 soon. All right. Um So um, tell me, what's NAL stand for? Uh, NAL stands for a natural accommodation lens. Natural accommodation lens. And you know, that's a great name for it because when I was wearing your lenses, it felt really natural. You know, I didn't have to point my nose and turn my head to look at things, which I think this is going to revolutionize the lens industry for the 40 plus, the presbyopia crowd. I'm kind of excited. Well, I certainly hope so. You know, the idea was that uh, the visual habits of the populations have changed significantly in the past, whatever, 20, 25 years. Uh, In two ways. Number one, people are spending much more time indoors. And when you are indoors, you don't really uh, use much of your distance vision, which is... 20 feet or more, but uh, most of the time you are spending during the day looking 20 feet and uh, shorter. And that, of course, over this prolonged time, 10, 15, 16 hours a day, 
causes the eye strain, right. and also the visual habits of the populations that change because of the handheld devices. People look not only spend all this time inside, but also look not from 40 centimeters reading, but they look at, at 30, 25, you know, private on, <laughs> on their handheld uh, devices. So uh, people uh, use uh, shorter distance for reading. Right. And uh, they spend 75% uh, of their time indoors where th they have to keep on straining the eyes for uh, some sort of accommodation. We need to get outside more often, folks. You know, don't be afraid of the sun. Everything in moderation, right? A little bit of sunshine is good. We're getting ready to take the first call in just one second. If you got a question, give us a call. Once again, I have the leading authority, Michael Wallach, here with me talking about the new lens design uh, called Now. Lens and concept. New lens concept, that's right. This is a lens that feels like single vision, but has multifocal lens performance with no peripheral swim or peripheral distortion, no confusion on navigating from far to near. So it's the next gen and lens concept for the 40 plus crowd. And we'll be the first in the villages, Ocala and Gainesville to have it. Come into the Lang Eye Institute and ask for the iFocal Omni Now, N-A-L iFocal Omni now, and you certainly can go to any of your optometrists and opticians and ask for this uh, new type of technology. All right, we're going to go to the first call of the morning. Let's go to Patty in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Good morning, Patty. Good morning. Uh, I have a comment about a previous show that I heard, right? and that was about coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sarah was correct. Uh, according to the Water Utility Authority here in New Mexico, uh, it it should be spit in the trash. It, any kind of oil should be put in the garbage. If you have to put it in a can and let it cool and then put it in the garbage, then do that, you know, because... Um, it, it can clog the it, pipes, right? Yeah, yes, it can. So it solidifies. Yes, yes and they have, we have a big problem with that here, according to the water department here, um, that they have to get somebody to repair the pipe. And uh, people move here. Uh, I had a friend that said, just pour that bacon grease down the drain and pour some hot water. Right. Uh, it'll be okay. I said, no, no, no. And I grabbed a, a can of empty can out of the trash, a kitty, a kitty food uh, can, oh. and poured it in that because because uh, it, it does. It, bacon grease solidifies back up, right. and uh, any any kind of oil, any kind of grease will do that. It it's liquid when it's hot, right. But I'm, I am glad I'm glad you told us this because, you know, now I used to use the hot water and pour it down the drain, but I don't anymore. And, you know, I have a special little place in the yard now where I actually bury it in the in the ground. But I got a lot of land. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that update. I appreciate it, Patty. How's it going in Albuquerque, New Mexico? Well, we have beautiful weather here. It couldn't be any more perfect. It's just gorgeous. It's cool in the morning. It's sunny in the afternoons, and uh, the wind has died down. <laughs> and it's bright. It's bright and early there this morning, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. We <laughs> dawn is about six fifteen or so. Where Where are you? We're in Tampa Bay. We're in beautiful Tampa Bay, and it's after nine o'clock here. But, Patty, we're going to have to take a few more calls. We're getting loaded up. I appreciate your feedback. Well, you're welcome, and I appreciate your show. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you. All right. Uh, 1-877-969-8600. We're here with uh, Michael Wallach, founder and president of Quest Vision Care Labs, president of QLDS, uh, a cloud-based digital design uh, system. And he is the inventor of the iFocal Omni Now, that stands N-A-L, which is natural accommodative lens, the newest, the latest, the, and in my personal opinion, the best technology for the 40 plus crowd. And what we're gonna do, I see we got Scotty in Mississippi on hold, but we're gonna take Dr. Summerton. I think we can still take calls with Dr. Summerton maybe being on, 
on hold, right? So, uh, Dr. Summerton, good morning. How are you? How's the conference? Good morning, Dr. Lang. Yes, I'm calling in from Destin this time at a conference here. We've got about 200 eye doctors here, and we're all having our continuing education. We've got 20 hours of lectures that we're learning about the latest and greatest so we can improve our skills and provide better care for our patients. And we've got lots of sponsors from contact lens companies, pharmaceutical companies, equipment. So again, we can learn what's best out there and how we can improve our patient care. Oh, that is outstanding. And I was there last year with you guys and I kind of miss being there, but the show has to go on, you know? <laughs> it does. Someone's got to hold down the fort back there. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you were able to hear uh, um, Michael uh, Wallach talking, but you know, he was talking about uh, the new now uh, natural accommodative lens, which I think we're going to be fitting on our patients. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the best things in the world, because as you know, at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, we have a very active crowd and uh, a lot of them, uh, progressive lenses, some of them just can't adapt. Isn't that correct? Right. We hear that every single day for all our patients above 40. There's a lot of hesitation about when they have to go into that progressive, when they need a different prescription for far away as they do for up close. And there's some history of non-adapts and people will know people where they had trouble adjusting to their progressives. And so there's a lot of hesitation or someone may have tried one in the past and they just didn't like it. But with time and these new creations, we're super excited that we've got something. So if they've tried it before and it didn't work, we can try this now. And for new people, they're going to have an easier time adjusting to this new technology that they can see distance and near and all in one lens. Absolutely. Michael, uh, let me ask you about the non-adapt because you've been doing this for a year or so now. Um, I know it's brand new in the villages and where we are. But are, are patients really adapting well? Is it less adaptation problems than the current progressive lens technology that's been around for 60 years? Well, you know, it sounds almost surreal. At this point, we've done about 10,000 patients. Uh, it's a new product. But the uh, adaptation is virtually 98 99%. I've had people coming to my office in the 80s because uh, my son is optician in uh, not in my company. They came to him, glass trifocals, you know. He said, why wouldn't you get some? No, no, I've been wearing this for 50 years. That's what I want. So they came to my office, you know, I uh, gave them a natural accommodation lens anyway. I said, you try it because, you know, we make them. And uh, you know, that I'll give your glass trifocals. My goodness, this person almost had tears. Actually, I've been selling, you know, progressive lenses and dispensing and making for years and years and years. But over the past year and a half, I had three or four people crying in my office from happiness. I've never had it before. I didn't know what to do. You know, when... Uh, you get the beautiful lady, she starts crying in your office. I did, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's amazing. It's uh, the accommodation is virtually 100% for the progressive non adapts And also switching people, uh, older people, from line bifocals or line trifocals. Right. So we're not going to be uh, apprehensive about actually putting people out of bifocals that are 80, 90 years old into this new generation. Absolutely. Bifocal Omni now. All right. We got to take some more calls. Dr. Summoner, you can still be on hold because I think you'll be able to hear. Let's go to Scotty in Mississippi. Scotty, thanks for holding. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, yeah, it was interesting hearing uh, the doctor come out with that new lens and now lens. Now, let me ask you, does that come in like polarized and also transition and i know other lenses are glassware sometimes you have that swim effect and i was just wondering how does that all align with the new, that new lens well let me just tell you first i'll let him answer uh, what about transition and polarized but uh i i want to tell you virtually zero swim effect i i put his prescription on last night and it's not mine 
And uh, I'm going to put them on right now, model it for you guys and gals here that are on the video. There I am. Pretty stylish, isn't it? Yeah. So I have no swim. I'm moving my head left to right. Most progressives, everything looks distorted when I move left to right. So right. Th there's virtually zero swim or distortion. <laughs> So I'll let Michael Wallach talk about the uh, other aspect about the polarized or transition lenses. Sure. Well, the natural accommodation lens is utilizing the same technology as uh, it's called freeform, the lens process, freeform technology. Uh, this lens is uh, digitally produced uh, simultaneously you uh, you digitally grind the prescription as well as the lens design on the back of the lens. That's the freeform technology. So our lens is uh, just different multifocal lens concept utilizing the existent, uh, you know, uh, state of the art uh, freeform technologies. Uh, and uh, therefore, it comes in any lens material or any lens treatment uh, lenses come in. We have, uh, it can come in transitions in four kinds of uh, polarized, like any material that is made, you can uh, you can uh, produce uh, the natural combination lens in. Awesome. No limits. What do you think Ooh, about that, Scotty? Like I think it's probably time for a trip from Mississippi to the Lang Eye Institute. That could be a good uh, plan there. I almost like the computerized uh, uh, lens of the future or something, you know? That's pretty neat. Well, we're stepping one foot into the future every minute here. You know, and I got to say, he uh, they use AI technology in this lens, don't uh -oh. they? Oh, a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, a lot. So a lot of AI wow. technology is used in this lens. So it is the, 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 the I think it's the future of, uh, the 40 plus crowd for presbyopia. Well, let me ask you one other thing. Uh, as, as a, that is the new and improved and newfangled kind of thing. Now, what is the price point as far as, um, what more percentage versus the old? Well, uh, brace yourself. Lens? It's very expensive. So it's $10,000 for one lens. <laughs> now, you know, I like no, to, I, I like to mess with people. You know that. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't, so. I don't think they're that. That they're not bad. Uh, but they're probably if you get all the bells and whistles, the anti glare, the blue filtering. You know, it can add the price up. A high index material. You know, you could be spending five hundred dollars on that, maybe a little more, and maybe a little less. And of course, you could always ask for your uh, ask the doctor discount, and uh, mm -hmm. that ha always helps out. Yeah, well, that wouldn't be bad if it really if it is, and I'm sure it is. That. Uh so much in the future as far as lens goes. I mean, I think that's that's a fair price. Well, thank you. Well, Scotty, All right, I appreciate it. thanks for the call, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to go to first, we're going to go to Marcelo and then Steve, and then we're going to chit-chat with uh, Michael and, and Dr. Summerton. Marcelo in Gainesville, good morning. Good morning. How you doing, doctor? All right, how you doing? It couldn't be better. I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What can I do for yeah. you? Yeah, I have a question, basically, doctor, regarding I have a central vein occlusion that happened to me about 2004 or something like that. And I would like to know what has been any advance or research or development in how to, I don't mean to recuperate total vision, because you, as you know better know than I, the central vein occlusion is, a, is an obstruction of the vein and then the, the, the hemorrhage in the eyes and so forth. What happened some, some time ago? Yeah, that's but a, now it's... Mm -hmm, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a great question. And I'll also let Dr. Summerton chime in in a minute on that. I mean, with the central retinal vein occlusion, I mean, ultimately, uh, Marcella, and you might realize this, you got to find the underlying etiology. All right. What mm -hmm. caused it? All right. Was it related to, you know, high blood pressure? Was it related to diabetes, you know, plaque, cholesterol? Was it related to something like an arteritic uh, condition, you know, a vasospasm? There's a lot of things that can mm -hmm. cause it. So you got to mm -hmm. treat the underlying etiology so it doesn't occur in your other eye. God luckily mm -hmm. gave us two eyes. So when something happens yeah, to the thank other, you. We, can, we can preserve <laughs> the other eye. So I always tell patients, mm -hmm. number one, if they do have a central vein of vein occlusion, I'll get them to the internal medicine doctor and oftentimes even their rheumatologist. And mm -hmm. make sure uh, they look at everything with a fine tooth comb, not just the optometrist, not just the ophthalmologist. 
because mm-hmm. what, like I said, we got to look at uh, everything with a fine tooth comb and find out what's going on. You have to get in the best shape of your life through diet, mm-hmm. exercise, mm-hmm. hydration, mm-hmm. sleep, which I need to learn to sleep, you know, uh, mm-hmm. the right supplements, avoiding the wrong supplements, you know, weight mm-hmm. bearing and cardiovascular exercise, weight management, getting down to your ideal body weight, believe it or not, is one of the best mm-hmm. things in the world you can do to prevent these mm-hmm. things from occurring in the other eye. And then remember, yeah. since you only have one good eye, even if you dream you have a problem, you got to get to your local eye doctor immediately. OK, mm-hmm. as far as what holds you for the future, there's a lot of really exciting stuff going on. A lot of clinical mm-hmm. studies using things like microchip implants, stem mm-hmm. cells. They've actually taken people that don't even have eyes, Marcel. I mean, no eyes. They lost them to trauma and they're using mm-hmm. a camera on a pair of glasses that connects to the brain and the wire mm-hmm. axis, the optic nerve. And these people are mm-hmm. able to get some semblance of vision. Now, they're not getting 20, 20 mm-hmm. vision but they're able mm-hmm. uh, to maneuver through mazes without hitting the sides. So uh, with AI technology, let me tell you, you sound young. How old are you? Well, believe it or not, 81 years old. Yeah, like I said, you're still young, <laughs> 81. You got another 30 yeah. years ahead of you. I, 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 I reached the speed limit of 80. <laughs> <laughs> and keep listening to this show. But Dr. Summerton, you got any advice uh, for Marcelo? No, I agree with all what you said. We touched on this yesterday in our classes, and there is a difference. He mentioned central retinal vein occlusion, and there's also artery occlusion, and that's part of our job when they come in to figure out what it is. The central retinal vein occlusion, we can, we don't have to be as urgent, but artery occlusions, they mentioned yesterday, which we already knew, if someone comes in and their artery is occluded, they're having a little stroke in their eye. And 80% within the first 24 to 48 hours could then turn out having a full stroke. So if someone presents to our office, we need to get them to the emergency room right away. And it's just another manifestation of how your body is reflecting what is going on. It's coming out in your eyes. And sometimes the eyes are where we see the first symptoms. And so that's why if you have a problem, we want you to come in. We want to check that retina. We want to do those retina scans that we now have the technology to just take a very quick picture and we can see all those blood vessels in your eyes. And then we can use our OCT and we can see the layers underneath the retina. We can see if the retina is getting oxygen. If it's not, then we know what to do and we can handle the problem right away. And we can determine, is it something you've got to get treated that day or is it something then we can send you to the primary care and work on the cause of it? Right. Thank you. Marcel, I hope that helps out a little bit. Well, yeah. No, well, my, 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 my question is my concern because I've been going here in Gainesville to the ice doctor. I mean, the, the, uh, no, no, the optometrist, but I mean, and I asked, you know, about the stem cell procedure and there is no answer or they, they don't give me any feedback or anything like that. I mean, and so is, is, is available, where is available the stem cell procedure for this type of issues in the eye? Yeah, those are studies right now, and you'd have to get involved in a clinical study. So they're kind of few and far between. Um, Mm -hmm. And I would say, you know, uh, what you can do, write down my personal email address, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to you right Mm -hmm. now, and all the listeners out there, you're going to have it now. It's idude92, so E-Y-E. Slow down, please. Slow down. Okay. E. I. Yeah, I, so like your eyeball, E-Y-E, and then dude, like, hey, dude. D U D E. So I dude 92 at 92 at iCloud.com. And that's the letter I cloud.com. Uh, I cloud. Yeah. And then what you can do com. is send me an email. All right. Mm-hmm. And then I'll mm-hmm. get you in our email data bank. And then all this new technology, when it comes out, I can notify you and, and send you an email. Thank you. I appreciate that, doctor. I appreciate your show. Yeah, it was referred for me for a friend that I took him to see you this week. And then he was highly recommended you. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Marcel. Have a great weekend. Hang Thank in you. There. Thank you, doctor. Stay Bye-bye. Young. All right. We're getting ready to take some more calls in just a second. You're listening to Ask the Doctor uh, with my very welcome guest. It was actually Ask the Doctors. It's Dr. Susan Summerton. 
of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins, and myself, of course, Dr. Michael Lang, and my welcome guest, Michael Wallach, uh, who's the president and founder of Quest Vision Care Labs and also uh, QLDS. So he's the inventor of the lens that we've been talking about uh, with this NAL technology that you can get eye focal omni NAL at the Lang Eye Institute currently. Before we talk with the next caller and before we talk with Michael, I just want to mention a couple of things here. First of all, if you'd like to set up an appointment to see Dr. Summerton or myself at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, I'm going to give you the phone number twice. Write this down, get a pen and paper. Then I'm going to give you the phone number for Fortify Vitamins also. And we are accepting calls Saturday morning at Fortify Vitamins. So Lang Eye Institute phone number is 352-753-4014. Now I'll go slower. 352 352- Seven five three four zero one four, and you can go to drmichaellang.com. Drmichaellang.com. That'll link you up to just about everything going on. Also, the Fortify website is fortify.com. It's a little bit of a play on words. F O R T I F E Y E. Remember, I'm an eye doctor, so that's why the E Y E. Fortify. Com. And the phone number is 866-503-9746. That's 866-503-9746. Remember, the new Fortify Rejuvenate is available now. That is that anti-aging formula to help minimize the wrinkles, the fine lines, improve elasticity, improve joint health, uh, reduce joint pain, and improve hydration. Fortify Rejuvenate has been a big hit. It is finally available. It's been available for a month now. And then lastly, I just want to mention the new macula degeneration supplement that we've been working on for over 25 years. The next revision, this is the 15th or 16th revision. I'm starting to lose count. And it's called Fortify Next Gen Macular Defense. It is 35% smaller and it's a vegan capsule, much smaller particulate. So it increases absorption, decreases the chance of you getting an upset stomach. It comes in the zinc-free and the regular version. So it is available now on the website at fortify.com or at the Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala or at Fortify Nutrition Center in Clearwater. It's called uh, Next Gen Fortify Macula Defense. And we've got a lot of people using it now. All right, we're going back to the phones. Steve's been waiting for, gosh, about 15 minutes on hold. <laughs> Steve, thanks for holding. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I was thinking uh, about this new lens that Dr. Wallach has would be particularly helpful for people who have vision problems that are neurological. You know, they've had a stroke in the occipital lobe. And the reason that I think that is because basically a lot of times if you have a problem with your eyes, the brain can take that bad information and kind of can go through its own algorithms and repair it a little bit. Like if you have a scratch on a lens, at first you see it, but then your brain will cancel it out. Well, I'm thinking that his lenses might be particularly good for people who had had strokes in their occipital lobe so that the the corrective processing can be accentuated. Well, I'm going to let him chime in, but I want to chime in first. That's a valid question. Uh, We see people that have had traumatic brain injuries, Dr. Summerton and I all the time, or have had a stroke and they have a, what we call a left homominous field defect or a right homominous field defect. Or some people with pituitary adenomas have a bitemporal hemineopsia. So this means they're losing peripheral vision. And I usually never put them in a progressive lens because a progressive lens can already distort their periphery. Same thing with macular degeneration patients. Oftentimes I don't put them in it because remember, macular degeneration patients lose their central vision, but they have peripheral vision, so we don't want to distort it. So my personal opinion is this lens is going to be a godsend for this group of people, but I'm going to let uh, Michael Wallach chime in. Well, as I have mentioned, I uh, for the past 20 something years, I've been running um, a specialty prescription lab. And uh, for stroke patients, I don't know if you use it in your institute, but we use sectoral prisms Mm -hmm. or channel prisms. And uh, and this is to uh, when you uh, lost your right side vision, then we put the prism base out 
you know, about uh, eight millimeters from uh, from your pupil. When you lost the involved size, we can do a channel. We do lots of it, but uh, as far as progressive lenses versus natural accommodation lens, absolutely, because the difference is that the progressive lens uh, is shaped like hourglass. It has a upper bowl for division, then it has short progressive corridor for intermediate vision and near vision. And there is lots of distortions on each side, particularly of the progressive corridor. And the visual fields are small. Of course, the periphery is uh, wavy and confusing, where the natural accommodation lens is shaped like a funnel, or uh, I uh, like to say martini glass. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so with, with the martini glass like uh, shape, uh, the visual fields from distance all the way to near uh, go in one uh, continuous increasing uh, addition or uh, decreasing focal length correction. And uh, of course, to the sides, there is no waviness. There is a slight uh, defocus, uh, but uh, no waviness. So um, people feel very confident, very relaxed uh, in uh, spatial orientation. Uh, I think you're right. I hope you're right. As I said, we only have about 10,000 patients walking in it over the past year, uh, but it's growing and we've had some Totally incredible um, reviews and comments. Uh, I am excited. Go ahead and get a pair. <laughs> today. And Steve, we will definitely be, Dr. Summert and I, and even Dr. Caputi will be doing, uh, you know, some trials with this. We'll be putting in these patients that have had, you know, uh, strokes and have, you know, field loss. And we're excited about it. So I'll, I'll have much more of an answer down the road for this, though, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you still there? Yeah. Um, I think one thing that I wanted to mention real quick, and I, I'll go into this in another program. Um, <clears throat> have you noticed that the Webb te Space Telescope, the old Hubble telescope, which was fantastic telescope, it would have a little distortion at the edges too. That's been eliminated by Webb, and I don't want to go into it now, but it, if I've, I've looked at that technology, and it's remarkably similar to what you, what's going on with you guys on the optometric it's 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 almost analogous to what you're saying for your new lenses i've i've so noticed what, that about the uh, hubble telescope yes dr summerton have you noticed that too <laughs> it's the web the web's the new one the web's the new one and All right, let's, it, let's see if dr yeah. summerton wants to chime in a little bit <laughs> I, I wish i had more to say about that but i haven't looked at the hubble telescope recently <laughs> neither okay. have i I haven't either, okay. but Steve, Steve, genius Steve, I call him. Genius Steve, he's always got, Steve, you always have some amazing questions, you know that? Well, you just have to learn to connect the dots, you know. <laughs> it's not so much what you know, but how you can connect what you know. So that's, it's interesting that, the, that we seem to, um, you know, the, the telescope is nothing more than a mechanical eye. And it, it, so it's everything that you're going to talk to, all the, all the, all the advances in optics can in for for people for their eyes can be put forward to in fact the the problem they have is that the temperatures out there are so extreme with with the contraction and and expansion and everything that they they the optics cannot make a clear picture you've got to take those those pictures and then put them through algor algorithms to get them corrected so hmm. anyway that's enough you've heard enough from me today <laughs> <laughs> all right steve okay. hey thanks for the call okay god bless all right we're going to open up the phone lines you're listening to ask the doctors dr michael lang and dr susan summerton and a very welcome guest uh, michael wallach is here if you've got any questions regarding your vision eye care a nutritionally related topic or anything regarding lens technology via your spectacles i mean we got one of the leading authorities literally in the world so give us a call, 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. Uh, remember, 
uh, 25% off organic blue green superfood at fortify.com. Use the code superfood25, superfood25 at checkout. You're getting 25% off and you still, I think you still get free shipping on top of that. So this is a way you can get all of those fruits and vegetables that are organically prepared, that are gluten-free, FODMAP-free, along with enzymes, probiotics, and six adaptogenic organic mushrooms for a 25% discount. It's already pretty cheap to begin with. So remember the code superfood25 at checkout at fortify.com. So Michael, um, we got a lot of athletes in the villages. Everybody thinks the villages is, you know, old, old people, but it's not, there's a lot of young people there. And you know, old, you know, what is old, right? So we got a lot of people that are 80 and 90 in their late nineties that are still very active playing pickleball and tennis and golf. So one thing I've always noticed, uh, you know, there's nobody on the pro tour wearing a progressive lens playing golf. And so I've always told patients, let's go to single vision. Or we do a little bifocal, very low out of their line of sight so they can see the card. But, you know, people would like to have one pair of glasses that does everything. Something they can look in the distance and drive, see the computer, and still play golf with one pair of glasses. And maybe they make it out of transition material so it adjusts accordingly and has an anti-glare coating on it. And so we never had really one pair of glasses that did everything. And it sounds to me like this now technology, uh, the iFocal Omni is going to be that the ticket that we're all looking for. What about that with athletes? Well, the name natural accommodation lens should say it all. It's uh, when we were young in our 20s and 30s, uh, we didn't need progressive lenses or right. bifocals. So we went to play golf, tennis, pickleball, <laughs> what have you, and everything was working just fine. Natural accommodation lens means we are mimicking uh, natural accommodation requirements in the lens in one continuous curve from infinity to near reading. So my intention when we were developing the lens was just to address the uh, new changing visual uh, habits of spending excessive time indoors and uh, looking very close. And that's how we started, that we have provided the curve from 20 feet all the way to 1.1 foot. But as soon as we did it, the first pair I put on my CPA, who for 12, 15 years, I tried every progressive on the market. Um, that took him about five, 10 minutes every in the drawer. And he was just using, like you said, single vision in the left eye. He was around the right ended. And uh, round sec. Uh, bifocal in the temporal lower corner just to uh, for the scoring card. That's what he was using as a daily wear when he left his office in the office computer lens. He put those lenses on my office he, from the moment about a year ago, just over a year ago. He never took them off <laughs> since then. He he, loves took a, he took a golf club that I have on my wall in my office threw the ball down, looks at me and says, guess what? The golf ball has those little dimples, have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And uh, he's been wearing them ever since playing golf. Uh, there are friends playing uh, tennis, mm -hmm. playing pickleball, playing ping pong, uh, right. biking. It's just amazing. That was not the intention. But it just happened that it's... It's just really natural accommodation lens. So the now lens is for that uh, very active 40 plus crowd. Remember, Lang Eye Institute, we have it available. You're going to have to go in and ask for it. Uh, it is called the iFocal Omni Now at the Lang Eye Institute. All right, we're going to the phones. Let's see. Kevin has been waiting patiently. Kevin in Cleveland, Ohio. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Hey, good morning. This is Kevin. I'm a licensed optician here in Ohio. Uh, I've been an optician since 1985, and our facility, our offices fit these. Um, we fit about 30 some patients over the past month or so with these. And I can just say, everybody listening out there, these are it. 
Awesome. Um, these are the lines that we have been thinking of and dreaming of forever. Um, as an optician, as you know, if you're an eye care professional, we get to try all the latest, quote, unquote, latest and greatest that are out there. And as an optician who's over 40, um, I have tried every kind of progressive that is out there. And as I tell my patients, this is not a progressive lens. This is a true multifocal lens. And it is. And it works. Um, out of the people we have fit, we have had absolutely no one bring these back. In fact, most people want a second pair because they can't believe how well they can see. Wow. That is impressive. <laughs> I am so happy you called in. And the other thing we failed to mention, Kevin, but uh, there's no seg height measurement on this lens. Right. So right. remember, as you know, opticians have a lot of training in this. And we've got five opticians on our floor, but not to knock other companies. But a lot of people will hire somebody that was at the fast food restaurant the week before. Right. And they're taking these expensive progressive lens measurements. And then I see them in the office because it's an RX check. And the sag height was way too high or way too low. And so it kind of helps take human error out of the equation. Absolutely. I know as opticians, that's one thing that we, you know, that, that I struggle with. Like, no, no sag height, but you don't need it. But I tell you what, and here's a little piece of business advice. You can now offer people this on the phone. Like, for example, I, I had a patient who called me. Uh, he's a snowbird, right? So he goes to Florida and he's, listen, I broke my glasses. I broke them. Um, now, normally it's like, okay, fine. We'll get you the same frame. But as you know, in this industry, um, his frame was discontinued. <laughs> right. What do we do? Yeah. Uh, it, you know, he's like, well, I'm here for, you know, a number of months. Well, I said, all right, well, let's, let's fit you with the now lens. And he called me back and he's like, what'd you do? I go, what do you mean what I do? He goes, I see so much better out of these. Did you change my prescription or something? I'm like, no, I just fit. He's like, wow. Cause I just texted him pictures of frames. I'm like, well, pick one out and we'll just, I've got your PD. I'll just make it. And he loved it. He's like, wow. So we've been overly thrilled. I mean, the best thing for us as opticians is that we don't have to know anything. And what I mean by that is, you know, typically you get these charts and stuff from all these other lens vendors. It's like, well, you can get it in this material, but you can't get and try, you know, you can't get transitions in this one, but whatever you want to fit, you just do it. You don't have to think about it. So you just say, yeah, you want transitions, you want polarized, you want whatever, you got it, you know, and, and it's, there's no limits on it. That's, but we love the lens. And actually we are, and I'm glad you brought that up. We are migrating a lot of our bifocal and trifocal wares out of, out of bifocals and trifocals. It just doesn't make any sense at this point with this lens. And so far, the couple we fit, it's been very positive. Wow. Yeah. In the past, you know, if you got an 80, 85 year old, we would never think about taking a person out of a bifocal, a trifocal and putting them in a progressive lens. But now with this lens technology, I, I think we're going to be converting a lot of people. So you were one of the first adapters probably in the country to have this lens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we we're big fans of it. And you know, I talked to all my fellow associates about it and it's just fantastic, but I, I can, you know, huge recommendations. You're going to see at your clinic that this is going to be a very positive lens and you will migrate people, you know, bad news for the other lens companies, right. but you will be migrating people out of traditional progressives. And that my only, but if you use, don't call these progressives because they're not, right. they're, you know, right. they're, they're not old technology. They're not. <laughs> I appreciate it. Kevin. Thanks for taking the time and giving us a call. And all of our listeners appreciate that, 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 that input as well. I'm sure Michael does as well. Yes, uh, Kevin. Uh, thank you. It's uh, good stuff. Good news. And uh, yeah, I would like to chat with you some more about it. You seem to have lots of, experience uh, with the dispensing deadline so um, give me a call sometimes when you get a moment i would like to talk to you some more about it and thank you good stuff yes thanks a lot kevin all right kevin's off there uh, that was great so once again that was an optician that's actually been fitting this lens like i said we haven't fit many of these lenses yet but i think it's gonna be uh we're gonna be inundated with people coming into the lang eye institute in the village to ask for this so remember uh, if you're interested in this lens, it's called the iFocal Omni. So E-Y-E -E, focal, kind of like bifocal, iFocal Omni now. And you come into the Lang Eye Institute, talk to any of our opticians about it. And remember, we also have 40% off. I'm glad I'm putting this in. Uh, we're not supposed to discount these frames, but you know, I'm a little bit of a maverick. So we are 
We're discounting Cartier frames 40%. So if you're listening to Miami, it's going to be worth the job drive because you're not supposed to be discounting these. So uh, Gucci, Cartier, Chloe, Chloe, Mont Blanc, and St. Laurent. Those are six frames. We're doing a 40% discount. So if you ever wanted a Cartier frame, I mean, that's uh, the ultimate designer frames, 40% off. I don't think you can get that anywhere in the country. And uh, the Cartier rep is probably listening and cringing right now. But we're doing 40% off those six frames at the Lang Eye Institute. I'll give you the phone number if you want a separate appointment Monday through Friday to see any of the doctors at the Lang Eye Institute. It's 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. Uh, one more time, not to beat a dead horse to death, but take advantage of the Fortify Organic Blue Green Superfood Special. Uh, that is giving you equivalent to four to five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Remember, there's a study out of Norway recently that showed if you just ate five extra servings of fruits and vegetables a day, you would live longer with less disease. So take advantage of that. It's called Superfood 25, and that is 25% off. Superfood 25 at fortify.com, F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, fortify.com. Um, or you can call right now and talk to uh, the Fortify person that answers the phone. is probably Charlene this morning at 866-503-9746. That's Fortify Vitamins, 866-503-9746. I think we're about out of time. Michael, I want to thank you for being a guest. We're going to have to have you back again after we fit these for a few months. And then we're going to have a lot of fun telling people how well this thing is working. Thank you for inviting me. It was my pleasure. Hope it will serve a uh, good cause. Yep. Remember the Now Lens, N A L, uh, Omni. It's also come, uh, called Omni Lux, but we call it iFocal uh, Natural Accommodation Lens, is now available at the Lang Eye Institute. And remember, ask for the Ask the Doctor discount, and we'll see how creative my opticians are. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to Ask the Doctor. I asked the doctors this morning with my very welcome guest, Michael um, Wallach. And so remember, if you're not happy with the eye care that you're getting, get a second opinion. With that, I'm out of here. God bless you and God bless America. See you.